In this video, I'm going to show you how you send a new onboarding request to a candidate. Uh, the first thing that you will do is you will navigate to the candidate's profile in Bullhorn and go over to the Employee Stream tab. Employee Stream and Able are the same thing, so you will often hear them be called both. Uh, the first thing that you will need to do for a new candidate is create a new ABLE account for them. Once you click on that button, uh, give it just a few seconds to, to work. What's happening behind the scenes is it's actually creating a profile for them in ABLE and sending the candidate an email with uh, um, their login information and for them to go in and create a, uh, um, create a password. Um, so to send the onboarding, what you'll do is you'll hit new onboarding request. Now you have a couple of options. You have packets and you have forms. Packages are going to be groups of forms that have already been put together and forms are going to be those individual documents to send. So for the most part, you're going to send packages out um, for if you're sending a standard driver packet, you would go through here and you would find the standard driver. If it's for a non driver or a W2 employee, you're going to send the standard non driver slash W2. Now, one thing to notice, there are a few clients that do have specific packets in here, you will want to make sure that you look through that and make sure that if if it is one of those clients that you are sending that specific packet. Just for the sake of this video, I will just send a standard driver packet. Um, and then if I want to see what's in that packet, I can come right down here and I can see all of the documents that are associated with that packet. One thing to note, this packet is missing the state tax form. So I am going to need a separate form in this to make sure that I send the state tax form for, for whatever state they're in. So for instance, if this candidate was going to California, I would start typing in California and I see the CA state tax form and I can put that right there. If they were going to North Carolina, I can also do the same thing for that. Type in NC and I see the North Carolina state tax form right there. All right, once I have the uh, packets set, I will hit send workflow and give it just a second. I can now see that the status on this is sent. Once the candidate logs in and opens up their paperwork, this status will change from sent to open. Once they start it, it will say processing. Um, and once they complete it, this will go away and all of their files will pull over here. Um, just to give you an idea of what the candidate sees on their end when they fill, uh, go in for the first time, this is a different candidate, but this is just to show you. Um, they have a couple of different things that they have here. They have the complete profile, their edit info, but the thing that they often miss is this complete onboarding, which is actually the most important button. It's going to be what gets them to their, their documents. So they're going to need to hit complete onboarding. Once they do that, it looks like I have to actually verify this one. So resync that, see if it'll let me log back in here. There we go. Uh, um, so they'll see all of the documents that they have to fill out and they hit get started. They then have to put in their information and then they will hit next and that will prompt them to fill out their paperwork. A couple of quick troubleshooting things that can occur if a candidate is saying they are not seeing the email. Um, you can always just come right in here and hit resend welcome email. But note that this right here is the email address that it is going to. So if for whatever reason this email is incorrect, you're going to want to make sure that you update that in ABLE. So actually come up here and hit this edit button. And then you can make the change to the email address right there. Once you've made the change, you get a save button. You're going to hit save. Now you'll notice that this hasn't updated in Bullhorn yet, but once I refresh, it will. There we go. Uh, um, it is important that you update it in ABLE and not in Bullhorn. It syncs a lot faster and then you would be able to resend that welcome email. If for whatever reason you ever need to log in as the candidate, you can right down here. You can hit log in as Wade Wilson uh, um, and you can select the reason. Uh, um, if you're helping them fill out the paperwork, you're going to want to hit complete profile with applicant and give a reason. And once you do, you can hit continue. I'm going to cancel this out. Um, the other thing that you can do is if they've forgotten their password or anything like that, you can send them the password reset link. When you do this, I recommend CCing yourself because you can always reset their password for them. And then you just give them their username and their new password and they can log in. 
And that is it as far as sending onboarding. If you guys end up having any questions, please feel free to reach out.